Take an exclusive peek into Lionel Richie's lavish lifestyle in 2024 as we explore his relationships with women, tour his magnificent mansion, admire his impressive car collection, and uncover his substantial net worth. Join us for an inside look at the life of this legendary musician and icon. Born, June 20, 1949, age 74 years, Tuskegee, Alabama, United States. Spouse, Diane Alexander, M. 1995 en 2004, Brenda Arverichi, M. 1975-1993. Children, Sophia Ritchie, Nicole Ritchie, Miles Brockman Ritchie. Music groups, Commodores, 1968-1982, USA for Africa, 1985-1985, Music of Alabama. Parents, Alberta R. Ritchie, Lionel Brockman Ritchie. Grandchild, Harlow Madden. Lionel Ritchie net worth $200 million. Early life. Ritchie was born on June 20, 1949, in Tuskegee, Alabama, the son of Lionel Brockman Ritchie, 1915-1990, a U.S. Army systems analyst, and Alberta Art Foster, 1917-2001, a teacher and school principal. His grandmother Adelaide Mary Brown was a pianist who played classical music. On March 4, 2011, he appeared on NBC's Who Do You Think You Are?, which found out that his maternal great-grandfather's was most likely the biological son of federal judge and slave owner Morgan Wells Brown. He was also the national leader of an early black American fraternal organization. Notably, J. Lewis Brown was principal organizer and supreme grand archon of the Knights of Wise Men, a fraternal organization for black men in the post-Civil War period. Formed in Nashville in 1879, it was a fraternal insurance and burial benefit society, as were so many others during the period. Ritchie grew up on the campus of Tuskegee Institute. Their family home was given to his grandparents as a gift from Booker T. Washington. He graduated from Joliet Township High School, East Campus in Joliet, Illinois. A star tennis player in Joliet, he accepted a tennis scholarship to attend Tuskegee Institute, where he was a member of the marching band, the Marching Crimson Pipers, and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in economics with a minor in accounting. Ritchie considered studying divinity to become a priest in the Episcopal Church, in which he had been baptized, but ultimately decided he was not priest material and decided to continue his musical career despite not knowing how to read or write music. He is a member of Kappa Kappa Psi, a national honor fraternity for band members, and an active life member of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. Career Commodores Main article, Commodores As a student in Tuskegee, Ritchie formed a succession of R&B groups in the mid-1960s. In 1968, he became a singer and saxophonist with the Commodores. They signed a recording contract with Atlantic Records in 1968 for one record before moving on to Motown Records initially as a support act to the Jackson 5. The Commodores then became established as a popular soul group. Their first several albums had a danceable, funky sound, as in such tracks as A Machine Gun and Brick House. Over time, Richie wrote and sang more romantic, easy-listening ballads such as Easy, Three Times a Lady, and Still, and the breakup ballad A Sail On. In 1974, Ritchie achieved his first commercial success as a songwriter with Happy People, which he co-wrote with Jeffrey Bowen and Donald Baldwin. Originally intended as a Commodore's track, it was recorded by The Temptations, who had their no. One R&B with the song. By the late 1970s, Ritchie had begun to accept songwriting commissions from other artists. He wrote Oladia with Kenny Rogers, which hit no. One in 1980, and produced Rogers' album Share Your Love the following year. Ritchie and Rogers maintained a strong friendship in later years. Latin jazz composer and salsa romantica pioneer La Palabra enjoyed international success with his cover of Lady, which was played at Latin dance clubs. Also in 1981, Ritchie sang the title theme song for the film Endless Love, a duet with Diana Ross. Issued as a single, the song topped the Canada, Brazil, Australia, Japan, New Zealand and US pop music charts and became one of Motown's biggest hits. Personal Life on October 18, 1975, Ritchie married his college sweetheart, Brenda Harvey. In 1983, the couple informally adopted Nicole Camille Escovito, now Nicole Ritchie, the two-year-old daughter of a member of Ritchie's band, who is also the niece of drummer Sheila E. The Ritchies raised Nicole as their daughter and adopted her legally when she was nine years old. In June 1988, Harvey was arrested and charged with corporal injury to a spouse, resisting arrest, trespassing, vandalism, battery, and disturbing the peace after she found Richie at Diane Alexander's Beverly Hills apartment. 
Richie and Harvey divorced on August 9, 1993, after nearly 18 years of marriage. Richie married Diane Alexander on December 21, 1995. They have a son, Miles Brockman Richie, born May 27, 1994, and a daughter, Sophia Richie, born August 24, 1998. The marriage ended in 2004. Richie suffered prolonged throat problems and had surgery four times in four years before being told by conventional doctors that he could lose his singing career. He then turned to a holistic doctor who said the problem was simply acid reflux caused by foods Richie was eating before going to bed. Richie became a grandfather in 2008 when Nicole Richie gave birth to a baby girl with Joel Madden, lead singer of the rock band Good Charlotte. Richie's second grandchild was born to the couple in 2009. Richie is a Freemason. Richie helped to raise over $3.1 million for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Richie told the crowd that his grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer in her 80s, but that she survived and lived until she was 103 years old. He stated that she was his enduring symbol of hope and his reason for becoming a breast cancer activist.